So the day is finally here that I reveal our mostly finished basement remodel. So if you're new to my channel, uh, my husband and I bought this house about two years ago or so, and we've been working on renovating it pretty much since we, before we moved in actually. The upstairs didn't need nearly as much work. It just had a lot of wallpaper that needed to come down, some paint that needed to go up, and then like the floors we finished and kind of some minor things I guess the kitchen was a little bit bigger of a project which I have a video of our kitchen reveal if you're interested in that too um, but today we're talking about the basement when we bought this place the basement was probably the like scariest part because it was really really dated and really really gross to be honest also I apologize because I am recovering from a little bit of a cold but we're going with this because I am so ready to finally show you the end result of our basement remodel project. So like I said, when my husband and I bought the house, this is the room that needed pretty much an entire gut job. We had to take out everything and strip it all back to like the bare concrete, which we did and started in about the springtime. So it's actually almost been a whole year of us working on this basement. So Joel and I did almost all of the work ourselves with the exception of a few things um, we hired out the electrical plumbing and then we hired out the taping and mudding sanding of the drywall but other than that Joel and I have done everything in this space ourselves like I said demoed the whole thing took out the like nasty drop ceiling the really nasty carpet that was down here and the really disgusting paneling. Then we waterproofed the space, we frayed out the space, insulated the space, dried walled everything. We came out up with like the layout of everything down here and then um, went to work on all of the finished work, which takes so much longer than you think it will, but it is so worth the wait because this place, it's like we doubled our living space and it's amazing. I mean, we did double our living space. Um, the house when we first bought it, it's a three bedroom, one bath. It is now a three bedroom, two bath. So we have a bathroom down here, which is pretty amazing. So the goal with this basement remodel was to freshen up the space to make this a really bright and cozy place to hang out, um, especially when it comes the winter time. We hang out uh, kind of a lot down here because this is where like the main big TV is where we watch like movies and stuff. And so we really wanted it to be a space that felt bright and airy and not like a basement. One way we did that was installing recessed lighting. Um, we're kind of limited in headspace in this basement. It's not the tallest ceilings in here. Our house is a 1950s house and uh, we live in South Minneapolis and that's just kind of the MO with these basements. But um, we took advantage of as much height of the ceiling as we could with recessed lighting and then we painted the entire basement from ceiling to wall to trim all in the same color it's chenille or chantilly lace by benjamin moore and then we just changed up the finish for like the trim and the doors to be a more like satin or i think they call it pearl with benjamin moore finish by painting the entire space one bright refreshing kind of like crisp white it really makes the space expand because you don't have any like lines at the ceiling for you know a paint color or at the trim work it really just is one seamless um, color from floor to ceiling and then we warmed up the space by adding in this uh, luxury vinyl planking um, in kind of a it's like an oak color i think it's called essential oak the brand is life proof from home depot I ordered a ton of samples of flooring for this basement and the one that really just like hit it home for us and really just worked in our space was Essential Oak and it is a really kind of like medium toned to light toned almost has like hints of a bit of gray in it um, but it's also still warm and inviting and it also kind of transitions nicely from the upstairs in our house which is the original the, the original floors of the home and those are in like a red oak so it's oak down here but it's a little bit more in a gray um, kind of neutral tone but they kind of they just they blend nice when you're like standing upstairs in the kitchen looking down the steps over there into this living space it doesn't feel like 
disjointed. I didn't want two different, like gray um, floors are really popular and beautiful, or really dark floors, I think are also really pretty, but I wanted it to kind of feel like the same home when you came down here with relatively similar finishes in a way. So another goal in this space was to make it really cozy and inviting for us to have friends over to watch like football games or just Joe and I to like cuddle up on the couch and watch TV. And this sectional couch from Article is amazing. I've never owned a sectional. It's so nice <laughs> to people. I mean, we can fit like four people, if not five people sometimes on this couch, but Joel and I, like, it's like, kind of like, it's like a king bed for couches, you know? It's like, you know the other person's there, but you pretty much have your own space. It's amazing. You'll notice <laughs> as we go through this video and I kind of show you guys around, there's one whole section, which is off to my left right now, that doesn't really have anything in it. Um, we talked a lot about what we could put over there. Um, anything from like a foosball table to, I don't know, more seating and stuff like that. But we decided to just kind of leave it empty for now and let that space be something that we grow into as we like have our baby and gives us room to maybe store toys and let that kind of section evolve with us. So that's why I say the basement is like mostly completed, but there is like this big empty spot over there. But like I said, we're, we're just, you know, instead of just buying a bunch of stuff to put into a basement to like just show the internet the finished product, I decided to just restrain myself and leave that space open and we will essentially grow into this basement and let it evolve with us and our lifestyle. I'm also planning on doing a video pretty much answering all of your questions and really talking more about the process of us remodeling our basement. This video is all about like the grand reveal, but if you have any questions for me for that upcoming video, please leave it in the comments below I, and I will hopefully answer them in the next video. All right, so now I wanna give you guys a walkthrough tour of the basement. When you come down these stairs, that's like our back door at the top as well as our kitchen. So you come down the stairs, and then off to your left, behind door number one, is our laundry and storage over here. And then over in this corner is our um, kind of like dry bar, built-in kind of bar area. So we have like a nice little shelf that we put up here and then some extra storage down here, which is really nice. And it just kind of like if you're, when we're having friends over and stuff, we can use this space to kind of entertain and put like drinks out and maybe some snacks and stuff like that. Um, this corner over here was kind of, is the area that we have left void at the moment. We're just going to see how this space evolves with our changing lifestyle coming soon. So right now there's nothing over here, but um, might be like kid play area, storage, something like that in the near future. Kind of giving you like a full look of the basement. This is kind of like the main hangout area over here. So we have this amazing couch from Article and it's a sectional. It is incredibly comfortable and it fits a ton of people which makes having friends over to watch the game or something like that uh, so much fun. Um, <clears throat> this poof is probably one of my favorite things. We opted out of a coffee table because this just kind of like can migrate around for like additional seating. You can pop your feet up on it. And like I said, little one coming, then we don't have like too many sharp corners and stuff down here. So I'm obsessed with this poof. It's massive and wonderful. And our cat is obsessed with it too. It's kind of like become a bit of a glorified cat bed, but <laughs> everybody in the family loves it. And then over here, um, in here is like our little linen closet area, um, just more storage for the bathroom and then the actual living space down here, you know, blankets, that kind of stuff, towels. And then right here obviously is another couch. What's nice is that we can kind of slide the couch forward if we're having more friends over and having, like I said, watching the game, um, or something like that, or movie night and there's like a bunch of us down there. We can slide this couch forward if we wanted to. 
But we also thought about putting in a day bed over here um, so that it could be used for guests when they come stay. So we're thinking about maybe doing that if, at some point in the future. Um, and then there's like the egress window here that we had put in. Uh, and then over here, this is kind of like a, I don't know, like a mini storage thing. But really what's behind here is our water shut off, right, Joel? Yeah, <laughs> our water shut off and like utilitarian stuff, but you could store a little bit of things back there. But the storage room where our laundry is, is really big. So we don't really use any, we don't really put anything back here. And then we have Joel's probably favorite thing in this whole basement, which is his TV, a very large one that I was like a little intimidated by, but it's so nice for watching movies and different things like that. So I'm hooked. I'm into it. It's awesome. I think at some point we will actually mount it on the wall too. And then I found this cool, um, what do you call it? Like TV console from home goods. And it fits really well into the space. I like the color of it. I think the shape is really nice and it just fits. And then over here we have our uh, fireplace and mantle. This is probably the like most tricky, confusing part of this basement remodel and the finishing process for us. This, when we ripped off everything, this like actual fireplace was like flush with the wall. And then when we built out the framing, the framing came a little in front of the fireplace. Anyways, we had to figure out how to frame out the fireplace so it felt intentional and made sense. And I think we did a good job. It took us like forever to do and a lot of trial and error, but I think it turned out super, super well. And then we added a little like wood mantle area. This, if you watch one of my other videos recently, is um, something I found at like an estate sale and I want to get it actually framed and not just hung up here with some tape and i think it's a really cool um, piece plus it like fits the scale of our kind of long um, fireplace mantle so i want to get this actually framed and then nicely hung up up there which i think will look really really nice when it's all finished so now let's go into the bathroom this is probably one of my favorite parts of this basement. Um, it's awesome to have two bathrooms in our house now. <laughs> and we have a barn door, which is so awesome. There was a lot of reasons for the barn door. A, it looks cool, but there was actually a lot of functional reasons for the barn door. Like I said, the ceilings in here, they aren't the tallest and there are some interesting things we had to go around, especially in this bathroom. So there's kind of a funky soffit in here that pretty much had to be there. And there wasn't really any way around it. I mean, I guess we could have done something, but it probably would have cost us an arm and a leg. So the soffit won. And uh, we were worried about putting in an actual door here that when you walked into the bathroom, it could possibly hit the soffit. So hence the barn door, which I love, I think it adds so much like character to the basement and a nice like pop of warmth and kind of uh, wood tones to the space. Plus it's super functional <laughs> and it works really well for this bathroom. I think probably, I can't remember how many favorite things I've said I like about this basement yet, but I think probably my favorite detail of the basement is the floor transition here from uh, the wood floor, like laminate wood floor that we put in and then the tile that my mom and I installed and we did like a zigzag cut and I think it turns out turned out so cool and it's just like every time I walk in here it just like makes me happy seeing this really cool transition down there. And then you walk into the bathroom. Um, it's a pretty darn big bathroom. We opted for a pedestal sink just because we weren't sure in the scale and the size of this bathroom if we could fit a vanity. We probably could have, but I really like the look and the simplicity of the pedestal sink. And then um, we have a brand new toilet and a whole new shower, <laughs> which is really exciting for us. <laughs> we have a big like rain shower head, which is awesome and I love. And yeah, it's pretty simple in here and pretty um, white <laughs> because like I said, there's a lot of variety and angles in the ceilings and the soffits and stuff like that. We wanted to keep it all very like monochromatic and would really kind of 
keep your eye away from hitting too many of the kind of interesting lines that we have going on in the ceiling in here. And I think it turned out really well. We have kind of our focal point of the sink with the kind of um, more uh, masculine touches of the metal for the sconces. And then I found this mirror that like literally fits perfect in here because we need something long and skinny. And I think I found this at Home Goods, and it works perfectly because I'm short and I can see down here. And then we have some tall friends who maybe hit their head on the sofa but can see <laughs> themselves in the mirror in here. And then we have like a little alcove right here um, for if like your toothbrushes. I could get like a little thing for our toothbrushes or whatever. So yeah, that is the whole like walk through basement tour which is pretty, I don't know, I'm just so excited to have it done. Um, like I said, Joel and I did so much of the work ourselves that it is amazing to finally have this thing done and it has a real sense of accomplishment for us because we did so much of it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thanks for putting up with my congested, kind of sick voice, I'm sorry for that. but. I know how much you guys have been wanting and waiting to see this basement reveal and I am so excited that we are finished with it and it's a space now that we enjoy and we get to watch movies in and hang out with friends and I'm just so ecstatic to finally have this project done. So I'm also going to have a blog post with a bunch of photos from the basement and there will be all the sources of everything I can possibly come up with for you guys in that blog post. So check the description box below for that link and take a look. So like I said, I'm gonna do another video about our actual like DIY process and some tips and things that we did. So if anybody of you are out there and looking to remodel your basement yourselves, it'll be a very, I think, helpful and um, insightful video of a first timers DIY adventure remodeling their basement. But if you have questions for that, please leave it below and I'd be very happy to answer them. And until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.